Hello, it's Satharl here, and today we are doing another one of our Mount and Blade AD 2057 games, where it looks like there has been another martial, well, another raising of the troops, and basically it is because we are no longer at war with Wales, instead we are at war with the Gaelic Kingdom over in Ireland, so a little bit of a bigger person to fight, and so hopefully, with any luck, it should be a case that we're going to actually see maybe an actual, you know, decent fight for once. So, well, I mean, not so much for once, but uh, maybe slightly harder people to fight than the Welsh were. So let's see how that does go. We are dealing with some problems as well. I will just mention that, uh, well, I'll just pop into my notes here and report on that and I'll show you. My party morale is 45 because basically they're not too happy. We've got an average morale at the minute. Although it would seem that we do definitely need to get that a little bit higher. My leadership and everything adding all together, it's only given about 60, my size 105. People, they aren't too happy. It's apparently too big an army for them or something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure. But let's see how this does go. Fingers crossed, with any luck, they will be able to get to a decent point where we can actually try and do a battle. I am going to just skip ahead, though. I'm sure you just don't want to... Oh, I spoke too soon. We are moving against Dungannon. So I will skip over the travel time, though. That is not something that's going to be too massively important. So we've just had something interesting pop up that uh, basically Edward Longshanks has demanded that we deliver him seven heads of castle, cattle. So what we're going to do, we've got ten days to do this, however, and so we are going to let them head off, and we are going to move over to Dublin and then move south to try and actually raid some of the Irish with any luck. I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. It would be ideal. What I wish we could almost do would be to go to one of, say, these places and take a hostile action and steal some cattle. Can't do that. It would be better if we could meet with the village elder, say, and there was, say, an option to buy some cattle here. So, I... Oh, I want to buy some cattle. You actually can do that. So, that is good. But it looks like there's a rather large Gaelic force that is coming over at the same time as we are actually... Oh, and that would appear to be, yep, there is a Gaelic a battle going on there. So we are going to probably try and intercept them, I think. How are we doing? Okay, that's probably not going to go too well. So you know what? We are going to leave them. And we are going to head over to... Where should we head over to? Right, there isn't really anywhere we can head over to. Uh, certainly not over in Ireland, at least. So... Instead, we are going to... Yeah, we are going to move in on this war. Actually, no, we're not. We are going to move to Abbas with the... the um, yes. <laughs> no, we're not. We are going to move... Oh, no. This guy is following me. So, that's not great. We need to get a little bit further away. Make sure that his allies can't come in. And then, we are going to try... And we're going to go... And you know what, actually? We're going to head to Hereford. We are going to go down to Hereford, we're then going to go to Bud, and then we're going to go up back up north. So I shall skip ahead again once we have managed to get all of this cattle. So we've managed to, by the looks of things, actually pick up this cattle. It actually was not as difficult as I was actually expecting it to be, which was a little bit surprising. So we're just going to move into these guys. Good to see you about the task you gave me. I'm still working on it. I must beg my leave. So he needs seven heads of cattle. So, and bring them basically to him. There we go, quest succeeded, deliver those. And it has been successfully completed, so where is he? Where is he, where is he? He is buried, there he goes. There we go, Edward Longshanks. Glad service. So how much, I got 700 dinars and 140 points. About the task you work me, I'm still working on it. I must beg my leave. And so I need to follow him. He is apparently trying to take this place. With 500. Ooh. Accompany him. It looks like there will be a battle in the city. So we've already fought in a fort once before. So let's see how it does go against the city of Dungannon. 
up in the Northern Ireland. Ed Longshanks so has sent word that he wishes to speak to you about a task that he needs you to perform. Come and see him as soon as you can. And so where is he? Edward Longshanks. Let's talk to him. Well met. You found... I must... I uh, need a volunteer to scout the area. We sorely lack information. Go to Carrick, something Castle and Ennis. Yep, let's do it. Carrick? Yep. Not a problem. And so... Um, is it that castle? Right. Let's see how this goes. So... Carrick is scouted. Carrick Bag... Carrick Bragan? I think, yeah, let's go with Carrick Bragan. Carrick Bragan Castle. Let's go to here as well. And then Ennis is right down to the south. So he pretty much he wants me to go all over the Irish lands. And so what I'm going to do though, I'm going to skip all of this ahead. I think, you know, it's not going to be something that's too interesting. I think for you to want to and watch me basically wander around all of Ireland. Well then, after our little trips around Ireland, it does seem safe to say the place is... Well, not in a good shape to say the least. Most of its villages have been raided and it is looking, you know, less than sort of stellar, shall we say. It is really not doing too well. But let's go back to, where is he? Edward Longshanks, though. Tell him of the information that we've managed to get through scouting. And it was a simple task. So I must beg my leave. And so new quest has been taken to follow Edward Longshanks. So let's continue to actually follow him. We really do hope that, you know, this siege will go well and we will then be able to attack Dungannon and I am going to, again, probably skip ahead in a little bit once I've managed to get this force. I mean, you can see our force, it's far, far larger than the lands of Dungannon. I think it's if we'd probably be outnumbering them by, I'd suspect, um, just off the top of my head, sort of two, three to one, I'd say. By the looks of all of that, I mean, I could try and count it, but, you know, we'll be here a fair while this day. So, I mean, there's 300, um, sort of another 200, so there's 500, 6, 7, yep, we're well above their amount. And, oh, there we go, the battle. Leave. However, we're going to wait for the rest of these guys to come in. Oh, we, yep, over three times them. Join in the next assault. So let's see how this second assault does go. It would seem that... Oh, let's get rid of my lance. There's no point in having it. And I'll get my shield up because I don't trust them to, you know, actually not be able to hit me, basically. Let's get down to here. And I'm not sure whether standing near this thing actually does help push it or speed it up. But I'm going to, you know, stand by here regardless. It's moving at a reasonable pace as well, so this shouldn't take too long, and then we will be into actual, the, you know, the actual fight and the siege. I really do wish I had some form of ranged, you know, equipment for this part of the match, you know, it would make things a lot better if we could actually fire at those guys. It does seem like they have a lot of, you know, um, throwing guys, ranged guys, and I mean, I don't know how many we have. Let's actually, let's go back and have a look. It looks like actually our force here is pretty much entirely made up of um, melee guys, except for, well, actually there's a load of crossbowmen back here who are actually not doing anything. They're basically just sat watching and waiting. Not sure why that's the case. You'd think that, you know, with this being a sort of battle, you'd want a load of archers or crossbowmen or something like that at the back, taking out all of these guys on the actual battlements and showing them basically what it is that, well, not showing them what it is, showing them exactly what will happen when they try and... Oh, can we, can we grab any of these? It would be nice if we could, which apparently we cannot, which is a shame. I wish I could ch just, you know, pick up a couple of javelins, throw it back at them. I mean... My character, I mean, he's throwing 57. He's not terrible at it. I mean, he's probably not going to be able to throw one up high enough onto that wall. And there we go. The bridge for the siege tower is down. So let's see. Should we run up first? I mean, if we run up first, I can tell you where well, it's probably going to go. I should probably stay reasonably close to the back at least. Now, let's... Let, well, I'm not, I'm not going to go in at the front, but I'm not going to go in completely at the back. We do want to try and fight ourselves at least a little bit. You know, we don't want to be stood around doing nothing and so those guys I'm gonna try and stay in the middle we want to try and use our own guys as a bit of a you know protection from the sides and let's see how this does go it would seem well the short answer to begin with would be not too great 
We, you know, we outnumber them 3 to 1, so we need to be getting a lot more kills than that. But it's very likely that once they start to tail, we're going to see a big chunk of, hopefully, their guys going. We need to be, like I said, killing sort of two, no, actually, you know, three or four of their guys for every one of our guys that we take. So we'll see how this, you know, this fight does actually go, whether it'll actually go any good or not. Um, apparently not. I think it might be a case we may end up regretting this. This decision to attack Dungannon may not go too well. Although we do massively outnumber them, we do have plenty of reinforcements that we can get in. So, you never know, it may not go too terrible. I'm going to skip ahead though a little bit until we've managed to hopefully push our way onto the walls. Okay, and so we are finally just about to get onto the walls. So I'm going to, I mean, most of the fight seems to be on the left-hand side, but I am going to instead take the risk and move to the right. Basically, the reason being is that here I can actually manoeuvre around a little bit and maybe take out a couple of guys myself. And it would seem that that is going to be the case. So, let's take out these guys. And there we go, they're down. Oh, archers there. There's a lot of archers there, so I don't think I want to be probably going down here. I may end up regretting this. But they don't seem too interested in fighting me, so you know what? If you're not too interested in fighting me, I'm fine with that. Oh. You, however, are interested in fighting me. So, we're going to have to try and hide out from these guys, pretty much. Hope that our guys turn around and actually notice that there's these Lord of Archers that are basically staring right at them and apparently not wanting to do anything. And so, let's... Yep, let's... So, manage to pull a couple of them. And so, we're going to, you know, fight these in a retreat. And they are falling quite easily. And so, then, we are going to move... Oh, new enemies have arrived, apparently. So... Right, let's try and take down these archers quickly. They're probably going to be doing more damage than we want them to. So, yep, there we go. And, oh, who's that? A senior knight. So, there we go. We have managed to take this certain section of the wall. It would seem, oh, we've got some more guys coming up there. And how is it we are doing? Let's try and see if we can't have a bit of a bit of a look around. So, yeah. Oh, there, oh that, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. And so, right, let's... Oh, oh, you, come back here. You are not going to run away that easily. You are a spearman, so we are going to have to block. Keep blocking, keep blocking. There we go, and down he goes. So let's just get back up here. It's a slow walk. I mean, you'd think that he'd be trying to move a little bit quicker than this being, you know, that he's in a battle, but apparently he's just sat, you know, having a casual stroll up. And so let's see how things are going. I mean, we are now... This is what really we want to be seeing. Oh, killed by Henry III of England. Killed by Henry III of England. Killed by Henry III of England. Killed by Henry... III. Four men. He managed to drop four men all in one go. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say he is, you know, one of the heroes of this battle. Oh, let's see if we can't... Heat a shield. Yes. Why? Because we want to make sure that our shield does not get destroyed, ideally. And so, let's, oh, let's see if we can, you know, oh, move out my way. This guy has stood in my way. Great. So, oh, new enemies have arrived. Yet again, more enemies to try and fight and have our guys try and force through. This is basically turning into, well, as a battle on, you know, a fight on the walls would turn into, is basically a meat grinder. Not really too surprising there. And so, we really, we just can't get in there to try and actually fight them. So I am going to leave this for a minute. I'm going to try and see if there's any way we might be able to get around behind them or something like that and maybe take out a couple of guys. Okay, so things haven't really moved too far, although it's safe to say that there have been a lot of deaths. And they are steadily, I mean, they're not quite forcing us back, but they certainly, they aren't managing to get us any, you know, we aren't managing to sort of force them either. So, you know, it's kind of in a bit of a sort of stalemate at the minute, as is often the case that, you know, these things, it's just a case of everybody's pushing and shoving as much as they possibly can. And, oh, I am steadily as well taking the odd bit of damage. Admittedly, most of that damage is from uh, falling damage here, as I'm pretty much I'm going in, trying to hit a couple of guys, and then ending up getting pushed off that ledge there that I should probably just give up on trying to stand next to. But I decided that's going to be my perch for this fight. And so, you know, we're still trying as much as we can. And it seems like there are, again, more enemies have arrived. Yet again, there is more people. More people to try and fight and more people to probably kill us. And, oh, managing to, uh, you know, do a little bit of damage there. And so, take down another guy. 
Oh, I'm actually managing to hit some people from here. Finally getting a bit of an advantage point. Until Right up until things like that happen and knights come in front of me. Come on, take him down. Take him down. I'm managing to do my fair share of damage. No! Ah, there we go. And that's more damage received. So, <laughs> yet again, as you can see here, that's basically what's happening there. That I keep sort of fighting and I manage to, you know, do a bit of damage. Maybe kill a guy or two and then I fall down. But on the plus side, here I will show you my character because I have leveled up. And I am considerably a bit, well not considerably, but I am a bit further on. I'm going to upgrade my Iron Flesh and I'm going to upgrade my melee weapons. So I'm now level 18 and I am a, you know, pretty much respected commander to be honest. I imagine I've managed to survive a lot longer than, you know, others likely have. I think it's safe to say that they've probably, you know, had a few, fair few deaths, shall we say. Well, maybe not deaths, but a fair few guys knocked unconscious. Let's... Oh, there is another unit, another load of reinforcements coming up to here as well. And so let's see, what do these reinforcements look like? Again, more more of the same, more knights although, and things although they are looking like they are slightly, you know, maybe not the best of our forces, our best forces were likely in the vanguard and there is also as well some more enemies. So I think I'm going to skip ahead this game unless anything does interesting happen sort of thing and then I will come back but I think I will skip the rest of the fight. I think it's safe to say that we all know how it is going to go from here. And so we have been victorious. Let's see how this does actually go. So we, we only lost 14 men. That's not terrible. Um, our allies lost a grand total of 254. That's a fair number. They lost 414, which is a larger number. So we've breached the town walls, but the stubborn defenders continue to resist you in the streets. You'll have to deal with them before you can sneak to the heart of the keep. Uh, sorry, the keep in the heart of the town. And so, okay, so we are going to apparently have to be fighting in the actual streets themselves. Let's see how this one goes. I think it's safe to say I'm going to have to make sure that I stay back a little bit and don't have that happen would be the, you know, the ideal. But apparently that is knocked out by them. Watch your menu, continue to fight. So, if you choose to fight, you can use the mouse scroll to switch between... Apparently, I cannot, however, fight. Ah! You've defeated the enemies. So, the town is ours, but the remaining defenders have retreated to the castle. It must fall before you can get complete victory. So, I think I am... I mean, I'm going to be present in the fight, but I'm not going to probably be able to do much, much good. Yep. Battle was lost. Continue. Order them to assault without me. After a bloody fight, we claimed we lost one guy, they lost ten. And there we go. We have managed to claim Dungannon. And so, let's have a look at our forces, which are, you know, they're doing a bit better. So, we're going to upgrade a lot of these guys, though. And, so yeah, Peter, Joseph, and John have all been, you know, well, let's say that they, they didn't take it too great. So, where is everybody but we shall leave it there for today anyway anyway though the battle would seem to still be oh wait no it's finally been resolved and we've taken Dungannon so let's see if we can keep it and so I shall leave it there so thank you very much for watching I've been Atharl here at EGEN do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the series and want to see more of it and I shall see you next time here at EGEN